What's up you guys, it's the Bowie and today I'm going to show you how to give this cartoon effect to your photos in Photoshop. So I've already created one video on the same topic. Now if you want to check out that video then the link for that will be in the card above or in the description below. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So this is the image to which we will be giving the cartoon effect Now, if you want to follow along the tutorial then you already know the drill links in the description below so the first thing we will be doing is reducing the size of the image so for that go to image and then select the option as image size and then you need to reduce the width of this image to around 1950 pixels and then make sure that the maintain aspect ratio icon has been turned on and if it is not then all you need to do is click on this chain icon over here after that you can click on ok and then let me just make this image fit into the document now the next thing we need to do is create a duplicate of this image so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus j and then we need to convert this thing into a smart object so for that right click on the layer and then select the option as convert to smart object so now we will be starting with the cartoon effect so the first step we are going to do is sharpen this image a little bit so for that go to filter and then sharpen and then select the option as smart sharpen after that you need to click on this gear icon and then select the option as use legacy now let me just minimize this thing after that you need to set the amount to around 55% set the radius as 1 pixels and then set the remove as gaussian blur and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default now let me just show you the before and after of this effect so for that I am zooming into the image so now for before and after you need to focus on the eyes over here now let me just click on this preview checkbox so this was the before and now this is the after so as you can see it sharpens the image a little bit after that you can click on ok now let me just make this image fit into the document so now the next step we need to do is click on that like button and then smash that subscribe button if you haven't already because it helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video which in turn helps me in keeping this channel free forever for everyone so yeah please do it if you haven't done already now let's jump back into the video now the next step we need to do is darken the highlights a little bit so for that go to image and then adjustments and then select the option as shadows and highlights after that for the shadows you need to set the amount as 0% tone as 50% and then radius as 30 pixels now for the highlights you need to set the amount as 20% tone as 50% and then keep the radius as 30 pixels after that you can keep the rest of the settings as default now let me just show you the before and after of this image so for that I am clicking on this preview checkbox so this was the before and now this is the after after that you can click on ok now the next thing we need to do is add some contrast to the edges of the image so for that go to filter and then sharpen and then select the option as unsharp mask after that you need to set the amount as 100% radius as 6 pixels and then set the threshold as 3 levels now let me just show you the before and after of this effect so this was the before and now this is the after after that you can click on ok so now as you can see we have sharpened the image properly but as you can see there was a bit noise which was added during the sharpening and we need to reduce that noise so for that go to filter and then noise and then select the option as reduce noise and then we need to set the strength to 10 preserve detail to 0% reduce color noise to 0% as well and then sharpen details to 0% as well and then make sure you untick this remove jpeg artifact over here after that let me just show the before and after of this effect so for that let me just move this thing after that let me just zoom into the image as well so now this was the before and now this is the after so as you can see it reduces so much of noise after that you can click on ok now let me just make this image fit into the document after that we again need to sharpen this image a little bit so for that go to filter and then sharpen and then select the option as smart sharpen after that you need to set the amount to around 230% set the radius to around 2.3 pixels and then set the remove as gaussian blur now let me just show you the before and after of this effect so for that clicking on the preview checkbox so this was the before and now this is the after after that you can click on ok so as you can see the sharpen again added some noise over here and we need to reduce that thing so for that again go to filter and then noise and then select the option as reduce noise after that you need to set the strength to around 9 set preserve detail to around 30 percent set reduce color noise to around 76 percent and then set the sharpen detail to around 48 percent and then you need to make sure that the remove jpeg artifact has been unticked now let me just show you the before and after of this effect so now for before and after i am zooming into the image so now this was the before and now this is the after after that you can click on ok now let me just make this image fit into the document 
So now the next thing we will do is add some oil paint effect over here but for that we won't use the standard oil paint filter which is available in the photoshop because it did not provide me the result which I was looking for. Instead we will go ahead with an old school method of oil paint that is using diffuse filter so for that go to filter and then stylize and then select the option as diffuse. After that you need to set the mode as an isotropic. Now let me just show you the before and after of this effect so for that I am clicking on this preview checkbox so this was the before and now this is the after. After that you can click on ok. Now we need to apply this diffuse filter from all four directions so for that go to image and then image rotation and then select the option as 90 degree clockwise. After that again go to filter and then stylize and then select the option as diffuse and then select the mode as anisotropic and then click on ok. So like this way you need to apply the diffuse filter from other two directions as well so let me just do that. So now as you can see now it is looking proper and all the noises from the face have been removed. Now again we need to sharpen this image a little bit so for that again go to filter and then sharpen and then select the option as smart sharpen. After that set the amount as around 200%, set radius to around 2 pixels and then set the remove as gaussian blur. Now let me just show you the before and after of this smart sharpen filter. This was the before and now this is the after. After that you can click on ok. Now for the final cartoon effect we don't want any texture of the skin in the image so for that go to filter and then blur and then select the option as surface blur. After that set the radius to around 42 pixels and then set the threshold to around 28 levels. Now let me just show you the before and after of this effect so for that clicking on the preview checkbox. So this was the before and now this is the after. After that you can click on ok. So now as you can see now it is looking like a cartoon effect but let's bring back some of the details of the image so for that go at the bottom of the layers and then make the background layer active by clicking on it and then create a duplicate of it by pressing ctrl or command on mac plus j and then we need to drag this duplicate copy at the top so let me just do that. After that go to filter and then other and then select the option as high pass. After that you can set the radius to around 2 pixels and then click on ok and then you need to change the blend mode of this layer to overlay. Now let me just show you the before and after of this layer so for that clicking on the eye icon so this was the before and now this is the after. So as you can see there are very minute changes but it makes the overall effect look more better. So yeah that's it guys that's the final image. I hope you guys like this video on how to give this cartoon effect to your photos in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.